This video will cover several important topics and concepts associated with intellectual disabilities. Let's begin with a quick look at the definition of intellectual disability. It is described as significantly sub-average general intellectual functioning existing concurrently with deficits in adaptive behavior and manifested during the developmental period that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Next, we'll take a look at some of the characteristics of intellectual disabilities. Individuals with this disability have an IQ range of between 50 and 70, and it is a neurodevelopmental disorder that is characterized as impaired intellectual functioning. Another characteristic of the disability is having a deficit in adaptive behavior and functioning. Now let's take a look at how prevalent this disability is among students classified as having disabilities. According to a 2003 study, intellectual disabilities make up about 6% of students receiving special education services. Continuing, we'll look at some of the causes of this particular disability. One factor is that it is a genetic condition where genes are passed on from parents to offspring. Intellectual disabilities can be caused by complications during birth. Other causes of the disability include exposure to corrosive and dangerous chemicals. There is also some evidence that shows malnutrition may be a possible cause of intellectual disabilities. Let's move forward and examine some of the challenges that students with intellectual disabilities will experience. The biggest challenge for them in respect to their education is that they will have significant gaps in their learning. These students will not be able to keep up academically with their peers. Unfortunately, intellectually disabled students also have challenges with basic living. Things like doing wash, driving a car, and present tremendous difficulties. At this point, I want to take a short break and ask you to subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button as well. We'll take a look at some types of assistive technology for these children. These children will benefit from using manipulatives in the classroom to help bridge instruction using concrete to teach the abstract. There are different types of software to help these children with various academic subjects and modified lessons. With respect to math, provide these children with calculators and teach them how to use it. Lastly, a one-to-one -one power professional may be the biggest help. Moving forward, we come up to the last section. Tips for classroom teachers. Teachers should look to integrate a functional curriculum, which is teaching skills to students that will help them meet the demands of basic living. And examples include washing their clothes, being able to count money, being able to pay for products, being able to take care of basic hygiene needs. Teachers also need to expose these students to the general education curriculum and support them in a way that will help them become successful. Teachers should break down the content, provide positive and encouraging feedback, and teach concepts one at a time. 